Hi guys, it's Chantel from a Page Cafe. I hope you guys are well. So I've been kind of in a slump the last couple um, <laughs> weeks uh, this month. Anyways, long story short, I'm back. And I really wanted to do uh, more consistent videos and then i happen to be watching rachel at roxy roxy's creation and she's got this weekly challenge which i thought oh that would be perfect so i'm going to hop on uh i'm a little bit late but that's okay and i'm going to post them on mondays okay so i want to be consistent with that so it's going to start this monday uh as i'm speaking uh, so I don't even know what day we are. So the 25th is going to be my first one and I'm just going to follow along and, uh, um, do her challenge because it's going to give me something to focus on. And I really like the other challenge she's doing. Uh, the, um, I can't remember her name, but anyways, I think I might do that one as well, but for now, for this video, uh, I'm going to do Roxy's weekly challenge and it's going to be day one. So that is making super fast book tag, book page tags with old book pages. And I'm using these. It's an old, well, it's not really that old. This It's just a book. I'm trying to use up my stash. And I thought when I saw these, her, her challenge, I thought that was such a great idea. I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'll follow exactly what she's making but I just wanted I thought it was a great idea to have these tags as um I'm just making mainly the base so what I've done is I've cut out the signature the the thread because this is the book I've got that I was it's just a book block that I've got so many of these that are just sitting around and I'm just trying to use up what I've got and I want to um use old book pages um, on top of this and this book paper is just going to be our my base so what I've done is I've cut so they just literally pull out and then and then I'll glue two together so I'll show you that I'm just going to put this aside because I've already got some taken out I tried to do a little bit ahead because I wanted to see if uh just I wanted to play so as she was talking I made some so what I do is I just use a glue it's just a regular paper glue and um, I am going to be covering the reason I'm doubling it up is just to give it some some weight because you don't want to I don't want a flimsy tag and usually you would use like cardstock right on the back but I have all these book pages, so it's just like almost like having cardstock. So I'm gluing two together is what I did. I'm not too worried about putting too much glue because I will be sewing around them, which I will I won't do on this video. Oh, and the challenge is 45 minutes. Make as many tags as you want. So I'm just looking at the time right now. So I'm going to write that down so I remember to check. Okay. So in 45 minutes, starting right now, well, pretty close anyways, um, I will make as many tags as I can. So now I've glued two together. I've got some prepared couple, not, not a ton. So, and then what you do is you use those vintage papers as your base, because they're so beautiful. Um, the ones that like are cracking and you can't really use it in a journal but they would be great bases for um, tags. So I thought that was a great idea. I do have a couple of those, so I've pulled some of those out. Or even like those vintage receipts or whatever. You can also use, uh, you could use whatever you want really as a base. And um, But for this one, because the next challenge, for this, for today, I'm just, I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. I'm just going to make tags with book pages and like old book pages. So I've got a couple of these. Uh, I think it's German. Um, I have scanned this. So at the moment I just have, I just don't care for this picture at all. So I figured I might as well use uh, the paper, this beautiful page, right? Now the size I want is I'm going to be 
cutting these in threes. So I'm going to have three little um, tags, right? So I'm going to put it up here, right? Well, it'll, get, it'll be on this side. So what she encourages you to do is use those book pages that are old and that you can't, like, I mean, I can't, unfortunately, I can't um, fold this in half because it's too fragile. So what I've done is I have used, uh, you can use whatever pages you want, really. But I have picked up, gone through my stash, stash and took a couple of old pages. Now, because they are old, you don't, I want to try to get some of those bubbles out without wrecking the paper because I did that with a couple of the other ones. So I love the text here and I want to keep that. So I'm going to, instead of pushing on this side, because it's fragile, I'm, I did it on the other side like you just saw, okay? So that's why I did that. And I don't want to waste that paper, so I'm going to put another piece of paper. I think I'm going to go in the bottom. And this piece, I'll probably, probably will keep it. Like, I'll collage another piece. So... I'm going to see how well I'm due at this. So, <laughs> uh, see how uh, how fast I am. I haven't done a lot of mass makes. Like, I do some, but not really on video. So I hope that you guys don't mind. And I hope that you have fun and play along with us. Um, I really do love the idea of mass makes. I just have never just done it. So... I'm, I'm decided this year that I will do it. So it's kind of like a mass make, I guess, in a way. And these are going to be great for having um, as uh, like bases to make tags. Or you could also use them as pockets. Sorry about my finger. I cut it and it was healing finally because I cut it pretty deep. It was finally healing and then I caught it today and I was just like, oh, it's split it back open. Anyways, not that you guys need to know that, but that's why I've got, I've got it wrapped up. So there you go. And then what I do is on the back, I'm just going to put, um, I think I'm going to put tea dyed paper that I've got over here. Because I want to be able to write on the back, right? So I'm, <clears throat> excuse me. So that's what I'm going to do. So you just keep gluing. You could do like one at a time. And I just want to do a bunch of them all at once. And then... Now, so I kind of know where it is, where the side of it is, over here. I hope you guys are staying warm and safe, and it's been uh, quite a mild uh, winter so far here in Canada. Well, today we we had quite the storm going on. Actually, I think we need to go right, just right through. So see, this is kind of what it, I'm prepping all the the sheets to be. And then after that, I'm going to trim them. But I'll show you that. I'll just put the ones that I made today on this video. Because I made a couple on that side, as you can see. Um, so I had some... I've just been going nuts making a bunch of them. <laughs> Because I know that I'll use them and I've seen Gail do this as well and it just helps in preparing like having stuff prepared ahead of time so that and I love 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 the writing of this book page so I thought that was such a good idea to use book pages in between to make it thicker uh, then they're we're recycling more stuff and I, I do love that I love that idea 
but if you don't care for this like this writing there's a lot of um, um a lot of you know just stuff that's written on them that i just don't care it's not it's just not going to work in my journals i'm going to try not to get my head in the frame so um yeah the weather's been kind of crazy today was snow on and off and then this evening was quite blizzardy almost looking out there grateful that i don't have to go too far don't have to drive in this and then when i cut it i'm going to trim the edges you'll see so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a couple bases as many bases as i as i want and i think i'm going to look at this one well i think i'm going to go this way with this guy and then i'll do uh four show you guys what I'm making so I hope you guys are staying safe and I've been just not very very inspired lately I don't know I get into these slumps sometimes I think I I just feel overwhelmed so I I can't focus on one thing so I need to like almost unplug and then readjust my um my goals and what I want to achieve and I was a little um disappointed in myself because I had a lot more things I wanted to do you know you have these big goals and then you forget that oh wait that's weird you're human too <laughs> oh, I tend to put so much pressure on myself and then keep saying yes when not not because I, I don't want to do it but just because I have so many things, plus, you know, you guys already know, if you guys are new, welcome, but I do have five kids, so I am very busy. I'm definitely happy, grateful that they're back. As much as I love having them back to school, it's good for them, it's good for me. I get more time to um, craft as well. But the first week of January, they were still home because uh, they got an extended. And same thing in December. It was like a little bit of half homeschool, half at school. It was a little bit crazy how they had it set up. So, you know, when you have, you, you expect to have all this time to do things. And then... Life sends you a curveball. You got to try to adjust and try not to be too hard on yourself in the process. So anyways, there's going to be, now that I've got kind of my thoughts sorted, there's going to be some fun things happening. And I want to um, do more series on here because on my YouTube channel, like be more active. It's been... Uh, been like last year I was trying to do at least one or two videos minimum and uh just so that there was something sometimes if I find that if I'm not organized or if I don't know what I'm doing then I don't get much done <laughs> so okay we're about 10 minutes in give or take so I'm just gonna keep going um do I have another base Maybe I don't. I wasn't sure how many I needed. I got more over here. It's a good, it's a great way to um, use up papers and, you know. And they turn out really cool. Like this is one that I was playing around with. It's super simple. Um, I don't even have the paper on the back yet. But I just just trying to see what I could make with them so just to give you an idea of what it will look like I'll probably make a couple more and then just start cutting them and I, I do like this size it's a nice size so what I'm doing is I am going to be um, doing uh, three 
or or four smaller ones but probably mainly three for uh, book page whatever you want to call it three tags per thing like this or three to four there you go <laughs> um so uh yeah so other than that i'm doing good it's just getting out of my own my own, my own head you know sometimes it just need to let go just leave it alone this is super cool too i don't even remember who sent it to me but it's a different um i don't even know what language it is so i apologize if that's being rude but i don't even know i really want mainly the text for the tags so i'm going to um trim the edge here trying to make it as straight as possible and then these little bits I'm keeping them anyways because then I can uh, make other things with that <laughs> which you will see in another video so these ones I'm gonna kind of do it I think I'm gonna post them on I want to say Monday, but I know, and I'm behind, so I'm not too worried about, you know, doing the same challenge as Rachel is on the same day, so. And I'm going to try to make a... Uh, What am I gonna? What am I saying? <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I make uh, these videos ahead of time, so that is my goal. Since uh, Aurora is at school, back to school, um, I have a little bit more quiet time during that time in the morning. Afternoons not so much, but that's okay. I'm just gonna trim this down. And then I'm going to make another one for the side here. Look at how pretty that is. I'm gonna have to make it too. another tag with that it's so cute I don't I don't really know what it says but I just love the writing and the color so oh I was gonna do some with dictionary pages as well to do that Glue a couple more and I'm gonna keep these um, little bits Down, isn't it? I've also used um, receipts, like vintage receipts. So this one, I'll just two, probably just two. Two tags here. Just like that. That's another way you can cut. I kind of like that rustic. I'll probably still use my cutter, but I do. I love the, the ruler thing. Okay, so. On the back, we need something we can take off. So let's do that. So I've got a couple journals I'm finishing up 
And one of this is wintery. There's a couple of those that are coming. So just so you know, there's also um, they call? I've got some grungy ones. want to join me on this challenge and that would be cool uh, I've already went on uh, Roxy's weekly challenge hashtag and uh, there's some pretty cool ideas out there that's for sure a couple little air I'm not too worried about it being perfect because I will sew around them. Okay, so let's trim. Oh, no, I wanted to make another one with this because it's super cool. <laughs> so I'll do another base. I think that's probably good for because I still I want to cut them and decorate them as well, right? And we're probably close to the halfway mark and I've just glued papers so I hope that you guys don't mind me doing this it'll give you guys some maybe some new ideas um, but because I'm not too sure um, where I'm going to use these I'm just going to keep them pretty simple Be not like dumb driven cattle in the world's broad field of battle in, in the camping of life. Do not be not like dumb driven cattle. Be a hero in the strife. <laughs> that's funny. I guess that's what that means. Interesting. Interesting. I love that there's like a part in English. So I guess that's what that is about, maybe. I think I'm at um, kind of here. I'll probably trim it anyways with the cutter, with my cutter. I might do like two pieces with that. I'm not sure yet. So we've got a couple pieces here, and then I've got this little. Put that there for now. This little cutter, and I'm going to start trimming them. And then I'm just going to do that there for now. And what I'm going to, she was also saying that you could use stamps, which I do have some stamps here that I may use. Now these little bits of clay, just throw them out. So. Um, so I'm just using the edge that, and I'm doing two and three quarters is what I'm doing for the width that and I'm just using the grid here we got a uh, for Christmas that's how I did this 
We got a new knife and <laughs> I actually got it for my fiance and uh, you know, I was like, oh, I'm just going to use it. No problem. <laughs> well, I kind of caught it slipped off um, an onion. Well, that wasn't a very good thing. And then I was trying to stay kind of calm. Because my kids were like, oh, what happened, Mom? <laughs> oh, my goodness. But it wasn't. I didn't need any stitches or anything bad like that. But it's just a, it's a pretty good cut. But, yeah, definitely um, got to be a little bit more careful with that knife. So I've been trying to just... Uh, be careful <laughs> be a little bit more careful but I keep catching it now that do you guys ever do that now that I've cut myself so it's like oh I caught I get like caught in uh, oh, I, I accidentally hit it on uh, the corner of my table Anyways, so if you're wondering what's going on with that, that is what I did. And it was finally healing, but of course, maybe me, I had to go and bump it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think what time I started. Let's check out the time. It's been about 20 minutes or so. So I hope that you guys don't mind. Okay, let's make two out of these, maybe. They will be a little wider. If we go, what is the width of this? Mm. Seven. Yeah. Go like this, maybe. Trim that one like that. And the excess. Just one. And then I'm going to um the edge of this guy and then the edge of that one it's a great way of using up those book pages now when you're doing this you want them to dry completely so this one I was thinking of doing four I think that's what I'm doing so what was the width of this guy I think it was five and a half yeah so I think I was doing like about there two and a half Oh, but this cut is a little too small. Get the long part, sorry. If I'm knocking the camera on my phone. So I'm just going to trim the edge here. Do love that little so I'm gonna see if I can keep it in like so and then trim the top a little bit okay and then those out of the way so what I want to do is go of that give or take so about four ish just 
the little one we're for. I'm just gonna use that line as a guide and then I'm gonna go I think it was two and half ish just between the two. They don't need to be. <laughs> that was not in the middle. It's not even straight. I'm just gonna use this guy. Go uh, two and a half, I'm thinking. So you got two and a half by four, I think it was. It's not even straight. And I did not go two and a half. Because I already did that one. But that's okay. I'll just make a smaller one with that one. And then these will go two and a half. Like that. It's give or take, it's pretty close. Okay. Those ones. See, these are old pages that I already started. Um, so I'm just going to go sort of just debating if I want to go right to the edge of that or if I want to um, put more like closer to the, I really like that edge. So I'm going to go close enough to get it and I might just cut those little bits by hand maybe not sure yet I haven't decided so I'm just kind of trimming them I'm gonna make four I think oh, I'll just put a little bit of glue there because they're, they're it's very fragile this this book is like I was told it's like 200 years old see it just rips off like to keep as much of it as possible just patching that <laughs> like so and then i'm going to go figure out what the heck how it was about 475 um so i'm thinking two Mm, I didn't put the other paper on the back of these ones yet. So I was just doing one side and then I was going to do them all. Okay. So anyways. I'm just going to keep going. And then after this part, I've got a bunch there, but I'm just going to keep going. What you would want to do, sorry if I'm hitting the the camera is make these into tag shapes these are other ones that I had already started so these are the ones that we did today right so you could just use one that's already started and cut it or you just Kind of like that. Line them up. Could do that. Yeah. I think I might just do a little bit of stenciling on these. And might do some stamping. So there's one. Now you don't have to do it like that. You can also just grab it and just go where you think would be a good angle. Sorry, the lighting is not great. And then just flip it and you can hold it, hold that little corner and then cut. The other side like that. And there we go. And then we got ourselves a tag shape, right? So we'll go to the next one. 
I usually do is I'll just grab one of my tags and just go like this or um, I have some other tags here it's just a different angle right so like for example go like this and then I don't know why I did that why oh, I flipped it because <laughs> really I had the other side right so there's another tag he's out of the way Corners. So that's all it is, really. It's just making a. I'm just going to keep this one because it's the same size. I'm just trimming accordingly. Try not to move him much. And of course, as I said that, I moved it right. So it's just a fun way of using up those old um, book pages that are so pretty and uh, making them into pieces that you will use, right? Like tags, definitely will be using tags, right? I don't know about you guys, but I definitely go through a lot of tags. And then what you could do after this part, you could use um, like pictures or from books, um, flowers or digitals if you'd like, um, to decorate them. You could also ink them, which I will do with you guys. I will ink them and stamp, possibly stamp them. Um, So you just keep going like that. Right. Gonna have little triangles everywhere. And then there's your tags, right? Those are your bases. Yes, they're not all the same size and and that's okay. Oh, gotta make sure. I just cut that a different angle, <laughs> cut it shorter or smaller or would that be kind of bigger? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. There's another one. There's no text that are the same anyways. I don't even remember which way that went, but we're going to just leave it like that. Right? And you just hold and like so. Okay. Got little bits everywhere. So I'm trying to think if I've got also like uh, from the dollar store they're huge but these ones the ones I got in there but there's definitely like smaller ones that you could definitely use in these just gonna take a couple out so we can possibly do some of these okay. looking kind of around Like, for example, you could easily do that. And you remember we had those little bits of scraps that I didn't throw out. More book pages, right? We could definitely use those as like... And I'm going to probably stitch around all these as well. Um, so you can make quite a bit of these while you're watching TV or I tend to make these because uh, my kids, I have five kids, I've already said that, but 
but they have a reading. They have to read every night, every evening. So a lot of my fussy cutting I've been doing while they're reading. And then, you know, I get to uh, listen to them, but also create, right? So now at this point, you could leave it like this. I'm going to ink the edges. And they already have the papers, these ones, right? So I'm just going to move this out of the way. Where is my brush? I've got this stencil that I was thinking of using. Just to give it a little bit of whimsy, I guess. I'm just going to use my foam. It does not like it very much, though. I, I just want see there you go and then um, and then you can decorate it whichever way you want right so I'm just gonna look at my time see how I'm doing. Oh, I'm almost at 45 minutes already. So, like I was telling you guys, you can, I'm just going to keep them very simple. I'll decorate a couple just to kind of show you guys what I mean. So, like, you've got this beautiful base, and then you could just add a butterfly. Super simple, right? Um, another thing. You could do, I was saying, stencil or stamping. But these really cool stamps, you could definitely add some of that. Um, like it, it, would, it would add texture, right? I'm just going to grab one of these. This one's cool. And you could just leave it like that, right? You could just, sorry, making a bunch of noise. Um, you can put these on a base, but I'm just going to, I just want just some part of it. Now, because this one is darker, you probably won't see it as well. Um, you could also use black ink. Let's try it. And of course, I wasn't planning this head so what did I do I didn't grab a <laughs> a block so you can definitely go like that oh I didn't even put it straight that's okay see it gives that depth too and then it's I, I really do like that so I'm gonna make I'm gonna kind of use the same stamp but on a more like a planer with the brown. Let's see what it looks like. And I'm okay with it not being perfect. Like I really, it doesn't bother me at all. And then, where's my other big stamp that I use all the time? Oh no, it doesn't matter. So you're just creating your base, right? So I've got this um, tape we could use as well. I'm just gonna use this. So I'm literally just making a base. But I'm gonna decorate one sort of. So you could easily go like that. And then put one of these butterfly, for example. I don't want to lose that number. So now I know that I will be um, glue or sewing these. So I will definitely.
you do that like that and then you can have a little piece of fabric or something at the top that's what I've got Bye. now because I know I'm going to be sewing these um, I would probably not staple it like a I might just staple it real quick just to show you. But I know I've got one of these already started somewhere. And then you just decorate them whichever way you want. You can just have them all ready to go. Just that's what I'm I'm thinking of doing. And just And just play at this point so if I was oh, I will be sewing um, but because of the time I'm just going to staple it but I'll probably I probably might I'll probably take this staple out but there you go there's one example there's so many things you could do with these and they're just a great way of using up old pages, old book pages. And I think this is such a great idea. And uh, I hope that you give it a go and you try it out and you play with different ways of using these. I just think they are such a great idea. So thank you so much, um, Rachel, for having this weekly challenge and I hope that you will join and uh, play along with us. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.